fucking hell. Three rabbits in the end, which is pretty good. I was quite pleased with that. Um, it's quite nice shots, and I found that it was surprising because that particular permission we hadn't shot in a while, and there was at least 20 or 30 rabbits running around in the paddock. So uh, that was good, but they all buggered off as soon as I got my rifle out. Having said that, the youngsters, a little bit more naive, I guess, so managed to bag them. I was really chuffed with the one shot, um, as I said before, because it was 70 yards, and that was freestanding as well. And as I said, it just goes to show, really, if you just practice and you think about your breathing and stuff as you take the shot, you can be surprised what you can do. And it was a clean shot as well, right through the, the boiler room, exactly, well, more the shoulder through the boiler room. Um, so it was exactly where I wanted to hit it, so I was really chuffed with that. Anyway, um, we did go out one more time over the stubble, uh, just at the end of the harvest, but we didn't really get enough footage for a full video, but uh, we did get a few quite good shots. And to be honest, I haven't actually gone through it all yet. But either way, um, get yourself a drink and check it out. Today's luncheon, crayfish and rocket. Gosh. Only got two then. So as I said, I hope you uh, hope you enjoyed that. Um, as I said, I haven't even gone through all that footage yet. But uh, so at, the, at this moment, you've got a better idea than me, really. But we got a few birds. It was quite a good day, um, and uh, it was pretty. We didn't get out more, to be honest. But that's life. So as I said, these three. They're, they're all right, actually. One of them's that one on the far right's reasonable size, but I'm going to give them to the ferrets. You can see we've got some in this run, some in this run, and I think there's one in that one. Should be the hob, probably. So I'll put one in each. I think there's more ferrets in here, so I'll give them the biggest. You okay, girls? Check that out. Well, not overly interested. I'm sure they'll tuck in though, in a moment. Just get one. Oh, that's bloody annoying getting this out. Okay. Feast on that. Don't try and run off you. So, I don't know if Arthur's in this one or not. Arthur? Oh, I don't think he is. So, I'll put this other small one in with these, these this lot because there's more in there. Oh, well, that's not Wait, come on. 
eat that. Go on, psst, psst. bloody ferrets. As you can see, they've been breeding. Um, as it goes, Arthur got hold of one of his wives and he wasn't supposed to, and uh, we've had more. <laughs> but uh, we'll be getting this lot out soon. As I said, that particular permission seems to be teeming with rabbits at the moment, so we should get some really good ferreting this, this season. It's just the time now, because as I said, the time to really shoot rabbits and to ferret them is when there's an R in the month. And that just happens to be now. September's a really good month for that, because they don't tend to be having kittens so much. And also, um, you know, it's still quite warm, so they tend to be out, you know, you can shoot them at, say, 6, 7 o'clock at night, and it's still light. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's good times, really. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to the, the uh, Midland Game Fair tomorrow, so I may get a video out of that, see, see what's about. I'll certainly do some shopping. So yeah, like and subscribe.